Filters are really interesting because in our photography world now, everyone does things with dials and grading. And actually, as cinematographers, it's lovely to put a stamp on things. Because you want photographic intent and no better thing to express photographic intention than colour in front of your lens. Every film is different. I mean, really it is different. So you approach it in a different way. You have to. On The Greatest Showman, it was a period piece and I wanted diffusion. Nathan made this beautiful set full of points of light and I really wanted to make it not sharp. I discovered this filter called black glimmer glass, which was so beautiful because it allowed diffusion to happen, but also contrast. Also color came through in a beautiful way. That's why I love the saturation, because the red suit was so vivid. Other diffusion would have mitigated that. The glimmer glass allowed for that to happen. I realized when I was a child that I was like staring at things. I mean, people accuse me of that now, that they think I'm daydreaming, but I'm constantly daydreaming about light. When you have a compulsion to look, then you can't stop yourself. And that's where passion lies. So that's why I'm a cinematographer, because I, I like to look at light, and I like how light falls on stories. It's really interesting when you get articulate and eloquent with light, or your understanding of it, then you can use it to enhance a story. That's the beautiful thing. I think that's at the center of our art. Filters are essential to my work and Tiffin's Glimmer Glass filter is one of my favorite filters and I've used it on eight films now. It allows the sharpness of the lens to work, but it still affects the highlights in a beautiful way and allows contrast to persevere. I love that filter. It creates a world. Filters make sure that the filmmaker is telling a story through not only their lens, but through their color. And it's good to make that part of your practice. It's essential, actually. <laughs>